Kinder, habt ihr Bock auf Catch und auf die Fresse? Dann würde ich sagen, ohne viel Rumpalava starten wir mit unserem Fight Forever Match, präsentiert von Monster Energy. Es ist der Alternate Fourway und es geht um den Nachrückplatz im 16 Karat Gold, falls sich jemand verletzt. This match is scheduled for one fall! Auf dem Weg zum Ring, aus Bochum, Deutschland. Er wiegt 85 Kilogramm. Er ist 1,79 Meter groß. Elia Blue! Fight forever on the air. You are getting ready to watch the alternate four-way match. The winner of this match will be the reserve for 16 karat gold 2023 in case any of the 16 original competitors are unable to continue. So a lot at stake here. Dave Bradshaw with Matt Damasi and, and Matt Elia Bloom with an enormous opportunity early on in his career here. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, Elia Bloom is one match away from getting a spot that could be worth Der its weight in gold. Contrahent in this match. Bring his A++ plus plus game, maybe. Anil Marek 
finally returning from that shoulder injury that plagued him for nearly an entire year. But as much as I'd like to say it, it's been everything but a triumphant victory for Anil. Since his return, you can see a little more. It's already, he's already got his game face on. Yeah, he certainly does, and you're right, that ring rust that comes when you've been on the, on the shelf for a long time, starting to uh, slightly irritate Anil Marek, I think, that he's not quite at the level he was before, but I tell you what, if there's ever a moment to find that best part of your wrestling acumen, this would be the moment. Without a shadow of a doubt. Of course, Ma Marek himself is a former World Tag Team Champion as well. So. Exactly, alongside Robert Dreisker at the time, part of Team WXW Wrestling Academy. You could say, I think Ilya Bloom, you might say, is kind of where Anil Marek was a couple of years ago in that he's still a trainee at the Academy, although he is now obviously competing in this past year on, on WXW main roster shows. He's had a lot of run-ins with Amboss over these past few months as Ilya Bloom. Yes, and you see there, the positioning seems all three men have realized that they need to take this bull by the horns. Well, there's a, yeah, a three-way alliance to start this out against the biggest man in the match, Gulyash Jr. But remember, four-way rules, the first person to get a pinfall or submission over any one of their three opponents will win the match. So, yeah, as I was about to say, the alliance can't last long, and it didn't. It's, these alliances are always temporary. See, Anil Marek now getting a quick step up on Fast Time Mudo here. Yeah, Marek determined to make this his night for the reasons we've already talked about. There's a quick sling blade from Marek who hooks the leg and Bloom breaks it up. Good timing there by Bloom. He definitely doesn't want to waste this opportunity. His first 16 karat gold tournament, at least not as a fan, as a in-ring competitor. He's yeah. going to want to leave his mark over the weekend. And this is the first step towards that. And again, remember the winner of this match will be the alternate for 16 karat gold as there's a neck breaker from Bloom. That means that if any of the 16 current competitors were unable to continue for any reason, then the alternate would take their place. And that's not just a theoretical situation as Bloom gets broken up there by Gulyash because last year the alternate was Hector Invictus and he ended up in the tournament. So it can happen. Yes, indeed. Like I said, this spot it may be just an alternate, but that could be worth its weight in gold. The opportunity to take part and have the chance of gaining victory at the biggest wrestling festival Europe has to offer. Look at this from Gulyash Jr. Such raw power, he is corn fed, is the bull of the village. Marek and Bloom on his shoulders and then dumped hard down onto the canvas. He makes it look so easy. It's not as if it's two grown men on his shoulders. Well, he spent his entire childhood carrying bales of hay that were just as heavy as that, I'm sure. Yeah, he's not going to be able to carry a kick like that from Fast Time Mudo. That drops him. Here comes Mudo spinning wheel kick. A pinpoint accuracy there from Mudo as well. That hit, that hit Gugas right in the face. And now turning his attention to Bloom and Marek. It's a heel kick party. On. This is definitely not a position any of these three men want to be in. Fast Time Mudo enjoys nothing more in this world than kicking people. I believe that is right up there on his list of things. Which means he's having one of the best nights of his that year so just, far right now. Be, yeah, this might be a highlight for Fast Time Mudo. He might be about to get even better if he can win the match, and he might because he just... Clip Gulyash around the side of the head with that spinning into Guri, hooks the inside leg, and both Bloom and Marek break it up. And that might have been it if Bloom and Marek didn't intervene, but that's that just highlights the importance of neutralizing any other parties in a match like this. Well, yeah, Marek with a clothesline there to take Mudo out, took himself out as well, and that gives an opportunity to one of the two gentlemen in the ring, because while your other two opponents are out, it's a good chance to pin or submit the one remaining. Oh, but you see Gulyash here. Gulyash, he's trying to suplex Bloom to the outside. Yeah, onto Marek and Mudo. Gulyash, yeah, well, what a blow. Bloom finally does land on, on the two men outside, but hang on a minute. Precarious position here. Oh, no. 
You don't want him to smile like that. Get out of the way. Yeah, yeah that's the idea. If I, I think three or four more rows back should get out of the way. Here comes Gouyas Jr. between the top and middle rope. Wipes out the field. Well, looks like Oberhausen is this bull's village. Listen to that crowd. Bloom and Marek just completely pancaked there. Gouyas getting Mudo back in the ring. Gouyash gonna scoop him up, try to slam him down, but Mudo goes to the ropes, ducks a clothesline from Gouyash, he gets taken to the outside, Marek dropped the top rope. Oh, Marek blocks, uh, excuse me, fast side Mudo blocks there, and here comes the combination. What a knee, double underhook. The face buster from Mudo, and there's no one else in the ring, Mudo, that was a hell of an impact, Mudo looking to win the alternate four-way, and Marek somehow kicked out on two and three quarters. Could have very nearly been it there. Anil Marek somehow musters the power to kick out of that. Well, we'd love to know who you think has been the most impressive competitor in this alternate four-way comment down below. Join the conversation. It's fast time Mudo trying to scale the turnbuckles. Bloom cuts him off and Kuyash takes Bloom straight back to the outside. It's chaos here. There, as you see, but careful right there. Mudo in a very dangerous position. Here comes Bloom looking to assist. We talked about this, these, these momentary alliances. Oh, no. Oh, hold on now. No, he can't do that. Got even someone as strong as Gouyash Jr. Yes. Oh. He almost managed to bring down all three of his opponents. Luckily for them, they were able to break it up. There's a double back body drop on the bull of the village. Meanwhile, Mudo still on the turnbuckle. Oh, here comes again the alliance between Marek and Bloom, but Mudo capable of fighting back. Mudo though didn't find the target there. Meanwhile, Gouyash is up on the top again. Oh no, this, I don't think they've realized that he's up top. Oh, I think they have Maybe now. Maybe they have, they've held Mudo in position. Mudo gets crushed by Gouyash. That's one way to take him out of the fight. Fast time Mudo. Absolutely squashed there by the bull of the village, Gouyash Jr. who's got the other two where he wants them as well. It's a cannonball on Marek, and I think there's one in Bloom's immediate future. Yes, there is. Uh, but be careful. I believe there could be one more coming for Fast Time Mudo. Well, maybe oh. not. Bicycle kick right to the face of Gouyash. Oh, Inzagiri there from Marek. Is he still anyone's game at the moment? There's a running missile drop kick from, from Elia Bloom. Bloom standing tall. Oh no, but Gouyash intercepts him. Ripcord, Lariat! Gouyash could have got it one there if it wasn't for the fact that Mudo was in position. He's got that pump handle into the driver. Into the cover here. Could be it, fast time, Mudo! Oh, Mudo close. How close. Also nearly booked that golden ticket. There's a code breaker from Marek, but wait a second, Bloom. Oh, he's, got got he's got a double under of his own, the party gift. No, it's counted. Counted by Marek. Oh, it goes again, the code breaker. No, caught by Bloom. These two know each other so well. Bloom and Marek. Bloom's got him up. Into a suplex. Well, the strength that would have needed from Elia Bloom. And now the double under a party gift. Bloom, has he done enough? The side press on Marek. And Elia Bloom has three. He is the alternate. in the 16 karat gold tournament. This might be the precursor to one of Elia Bloom's biggest weekends. Could it be the start of a fairy tale that will take Elia Bloom not just to the 16 karat gold trophy, but to the unified world wrestling title? It is the kind of story that could happen on the most unpredictable weekend of the year, Europe's biggest wrestling festival, 16 Karat Gold. Gold. Ein einfaches Mineral, dem wir großen Wert beimessen. Etwas, das wir aus der Erde ausgraben und mit dem wir uns schmücken als Zeichen unseres Status. Ein Edelmetall, das als höchstes Symbol für Erfolg gilt. 
Und im professionellen Wrestling gibt es kein größeres Zeichen für Erfolg, als 16 Karat Gold zu gewinnen. Dies ist das WXW 16 Karat Gold, das größte Wrestling-Festival in Europa. Und das 16 Karat Gold Tournament das härteste. Doch in diesem Jahr ist das 16 Karat Gold Tournament wichtiger als je zuvor. Denn diese 16 Wrestler kämpfen nicht nur um die 16 Karat Gold Trophäe, aber zum ersten Mal in der Geschichte wird der Gewinner zum WXW Unified World Wrestling Champion gekrönt. Welcher dieser 16 Ringe hat das Zeug dazu, in nur drei Tagen vier Einzelsiege zu erringen? Was wird benötigt, damit sich einer dieser Konkurrenten endgültig als Goldstandard des professionellen Wrestlings etabliert? Und wer wird Geschichte schreiben, wenn er Oberhausen als neuer Wegs wie Unified World Wrestling Champion verlässt? Wrestling-Infos.de präsentiert WXW 16 Karat Gold 2023 Night One.